Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. For anyone who's new, my name is Olivia, and in today's video, I am going to be wrapping with the Shortcake and Berries kit. Now, this kit includes two scarves, the Cornerstone in mustard. Now, the Cornerstone, really quickly for those who are not familiar, is a very, very, very lightweight scarf. Um, it's very soft and drapes very nicely. Um, it has the fringes on the side. It's a rectangular scarf, short ways, and then long ways. Okay. And the second scarf is this absolutely gorgeous watercolor two in one in plum, red, and over here, you have a little bit of mustard. Now, I do love the name of this because this does remind me of strawberry shortcake and I constantly want to call this my strawberry shortcake kit. Um, so, so fun and it's strawberry season. So it's totally appropriate in my opinion <laughs> to be wearing this kit. Now I'm not going to be wearing a shaper. Um, I do, I, I'm, I do. <laughs> words, words, all of them out at the same time. Um, does not work. I'm wearing a blonde headband, a uh, no slip headband from Rapunzel. And I'm covering up my braids because I'm not wearing a shaper or anything. I'm just covering them up with a velvet head, a velvet headband, a velvet decorative headband, um, just to keep them covered so I can film and show you guys this video. Now, I'm going to start by getting this, let's get this, let's get this wrapped. Um, I'm going to fold over the scarf about so much and I'm going to put it on my head. I'm not going with anything really crazy today because it's um, catch up on laundry day. And just want something really cute but not too fussy. Okay, now get this on. I'm going to be showing just this little tiny portion of my hair. And yes, those are beautiful white hairs up there. Okay, I'm going to tie in the back in a knot. And give it a good tuck. Okay, so I have this. And now in the back, I can show I have this. Okay, for the watercolor two-in-one, I am going to be folding this into thirds because I want to have this piece right here, but I want this to be just with the, um, the mustard color in the back. I don't want this to cover up the back. So I'm gonna fold it in thirds. So that goes like so. And then this other piece is going to come up. Okay, like so. Okay, now I'm going to put this on my head. making sure I'm tucking that under. Okay, I'm going to bring these down underneath of the mustard cornerstone and I'm going to give it a tie back here. I want them approximately even but if they don't come out even, as long as this side is the one that's a little bit longer and this one is a little shorter, that's totally cool. Okay. All right, so I have this. Now I do want to get this and this even because I'm not going for an angled look, even though this would look really cute with angles. Gonna get that fixed, all nice and neat. Okay, now I'm going to start with this side and I'm going to bring it up and over 
making sure that I'm leaving some of the front showing. Okay, so when I get to this point, making sure this is nice and smooth, I'm going to bring it around the back neatly, find the pocket back here and tuck this in. I want to make sure all of those fringe bits are tucked in. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay. Bringing this forward because I want it to be even on both sides. A little bit of symmetry here. Okay, so that's what I have. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this because this scarf is just the, um, this scarf is just to, to add the contrast. Um, this is the, the showcase scarf. I wanna do a really nifty, fun detail at the top with this one. Now I realized just this minute that I forgot to say in the beginning that I'm going to be adding an infinity clip in gold to this ensemble. Now, you are giving me a hard time. Stop it. Let's see, where's your edge? Do you want to fold which way? Okay, so you want to fold this way. And we're going to grab you. Okay. Thirds. And I'm going to bring it up and over. It can be at the same, um, it can be on top of the other, the other mustard tail, or it could just have a little bit extra hanging out there. Um, trying to keep it as neat as possible, bringing it over. If there are some pleats, that's fine. It's not what I'm going for, but I'm gonna leave them. Okay, so I bring it heat down here. You don't look so pretty. Try again. Okay, so I've got it folded. And apparently that's not the way it wanted to fold. So the scarf lied to me. It said it wanted to fold the other way and it totally did not. Okay, bringing this guy up, over the, up and over. No twisting, just keeping it flat, bringing it around. And the same thing, I'm going to be finding the pocket, any pocket. At this point, I can give the tail a little bit of a twist to keep the fringes together and make them easier to tuck. Make sure this is up here, keeping this relatively flat. Okay, so this is what I have. This actually detail looks kind of cool, but. Okay. All right, so for the detail, I'm going to be taking these tails and I'm gonna bring them up and have my clip right here. Now the infinity clip comes with this really cute rod. I am not going to be using this. Um, I'm just going to be taking the scarf tail and going in here and going in here and it's going to just lay like so right there. Um, this is a great, a great fun, this is a great and fun. This is a great technique to get that really cool side detail without having to twist and, and all that. It kind of keeps that twist flat. Um, okay, so I'm going to take from the top and go down here. Okay, and I'm bringing it back around like this. Now, this is gonna take us a few seconds to get the placement correct. And also, I have to get this guy tucked in to the pocket of itself to hold it in place until I can come back and make sure it's tucked in neatly. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to take this guy 
and I'm going to bring it up, go into the top, and please don't bite me, please don't bite me. Okay, go into the top. Now, this piece got all clumped up, totally going to open it up. and bring this down, okay? I'm going to be tucking this in as best I can, right there, and coming around, just find out where it will tuck and give it a tuck. Now the back will look different if you're wearing a shaper. I'm choosing not to wear a shaper today. I'm just, I don't know, with the heat and with um, just my scalp has been sweaty and itchy with all the with all the out, outside activities. Let me see, but that's a tongue twister. Ugh, outside activities. I've been working out in the backyard um, and out in the front yard and just doing all kinds of chores. So. I haven't worn a shaper in probably about four or five days. So um, if you wear a shaper, this will help out with this portion here, keeping everything nice and neat. But I'm kind of, I'm pleased with, with it so far. So, okay, I am kind of liking it. Now I'm going to adjust this just a little bit because I do want to see more of that shortcake right there. I can see some shortcake there. Now, um, I probably could put on a cute pair of earrings. I'm not going to, um, but that's an option. I have a maybe a green pair because that'd be kind of cool. But um, now that I've gotten this wrap on, I got to tell you kind of funny story um, why my ensemble does not match my head wrap. Now, I'm typically really cool with um, pairing my wraps and my ensembles, but I went to grab my absolute favorite matching cardigan and I realized um, it's not gonna work anymore. Now, this sweater has been in my closet for a while and it was an absolute favorite. Um, it's 100%, I do believe it's, it's merino wool. I do know it's wool. Um, I'm not sure percentage wise, but um, it accidentally got put into the dryer. Now, everybody knows what happens with wool when you put it in a dryer, it shrinks. I went from a me-sized cardigan to a um, your average eight-year-old sized cardigan. So I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna send this, this beautiful, really good condition um, sweater off to my friend's granddaughter because it will definitely fit her. Um, but I'm like, oh, laundry, laundry mishaps happen all the time, um, but they kind of suck. So that's why I'm wearing this cardigan and not the one that I really wanted to wear. Now, um, I do need to wear a cardigan today. It's a wee bit breezy and chilly outside and it's also misting. Um, so it's kind of damp too. Um, uh, put that down there. Uh, so I did a really big de-stash of all of my cardigans last year, and um, I think I kept three. One of them is missing in action, and and this one, and then the one that's on the floor. Now I'm uh, uh, now I'm cardigan short, so I might have to go pick up a few of them. Oh my goodness, husband's gonna love that one. <laughs> But anywho, I'm going to, look at my baby. I'm gonna grab him up so you guys can see him. Um, and then I'm gonna end the video and end all that. So let me grab him up. Come on up here, baby. Oh my goodness. Say hello, Luna. Say hello. Hims loves when I film. So I'm probably, I'm probably going to film tomorrow. Say hello. Look at everybody, say hi. See, I'm a cutie and I'm so CPs. See, I'm so CPs. See, I had her up this morning at, at five o'clock. Yeah, because it was feed time at five o'clock. 
Yeah, this is CB buys. We've been playing since, so this is CB buys. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies, I am going to definitely be filming tomorrow. I have a really cool idea with um, a sorry scarf. So I look forward to seeing you then. Have a wonderful day.